album, The Best of Bennett, please welcome award-winning Canadian crooner, Matt Dusk. Hey, Matt. Cheers. Oh, my God, cheers to, go. to you. How's it going, good sir? I am very happy to be here. Mm. This is the first time I've actually been with you on your new show. Uh, this is amazing. Know. So we actually kind of go way back. We've, we've been together on various things. I've cooked for you. We've been on the social together. Yes. We run into each other a lot. And I got to be greeted first thing in the morning. <laughs> By you. Yeah. She was here, I think, at, what, 7 a.m.? Yeah. What kind of talent does this? Yeah. This is just, like, amazing. Listen, I love opening doors. If you're behind me, I'm going to open Perfect. that door for you. I love it. All right, well, Matt, you have an upcoming album mm -hmm. coming out in November, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. So it pays homage to Tony Bennett. Yes. The late and the great. I, I can't even imagine. How. First off, how did you pick what songs to cover on this album? So uh, I used to live in Las Vegas yeah. uh, for about four years, and yeah. I used to share a showroom with Tony Bennett. No way. So the yeah. coolest thing was when I would get kicked out by him, okay. which is totally fine. <laughs> um, I would get to see all his shows. And yeah. then after the shows, I get to meet with him. I, we would talk about stuff. And basically, I was throughout his show, I'd always be watching him learning. Yeah. And I just fell in love with that, that material. And I said, OK, I started working on an album in 2022. Yeah. And then unfortunately passed away. And here we are. So it's basically, it was my gift to him. Oh, my gosh. I hope I don't screw it up. No, <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. But that's, that's so amazing. So you actually knew him. When did you actually meet him? Can you remember the first time you met him? It was, uh, it was around 2004. Okay. And um, w when I found out that, I, that, that he was coming to the, the actual theater, yeah. I, was, I, I was very nervous. Yeah. Sweaty palms. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. One of the nicest men I've ever met. Oh. Very gracious. Like, hey, kid, how's it going? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're Tony Bennett. Yeah. I'm pitching myself. Yeah. <laughs> and through through all that, I just I just realized that it's amazing to have a mentor that yeah. is, like, actually normal. Yeah. You know, someone, uh, he never had any ego. He was always very generous and always welcoming. Very unassuming. Yeah. That's honestly, that's so amazing. So how do you how do you narrow down his catalog oh, to choose hard. what to put on the album? Well, first of all, there is Tony, and he'll always do it his way. Yeah. And, and so I chose the songs that most resonated with me when I would see him perform. Yeah. So the album basically has an entire orchestra. Actually, one of our uh, gentlemen in the band was did all the arrangements, Lou Pamonti, who's on piano. Love Lou Pamonti. You know Lou. I know Lou. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and we were just like, how can we make something that you can put on, you know, late in the evening, it's got a beautiful orchestra, yeah. grab a glass of wine, yeah. and just chill out. Uh, you know, that's so that's how it all came together. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. No, going going back, you you and I also have in common. I grew up listening to jazz on the radio. My mom has always been a jazz fan. I think you sing a little bit too. I mean I try, there but it's go. not great. Some people pay me to stop singing, I feel like <laughs> is the thing. But I I am I'm so curious because I think it, it means so much to me and it goes like back into kind of my DNA. Mm -hmm. But I know I, I've heard you talk about wanting to keep jazz, vocal jazz in particular, like alive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you about it? Yes, I do. Yeah. So um, as, as a young kid, uh, my parents used to listen to this classical music station called 91.1 CJRT. Yeah. And at night, they would play jazz music. So the, it would just kind of flip over. And I always had this idea mm. of jazz was the night. It yeah. was like the cool time when you could be alone, you know, you and the music. Mm -hmm. And what I realized as I grew up and as a teenager is that I wanted to go see the jazz clubs. I wanted to be part of it. Yeah. And that's when I started to see the the lifestyle of being a jazz musician, yeah. which is a lot of fun, especially yeah. <laughs> when especially when you're a young you're you're, you're a young teenager. Yeah. And I just started doing it for fun, and then I realized that there were tons of people, both young and old, mm -hmm. who were kind of part of this club. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, people said, hey, I'll pay you to do it. Yeah. And I was like, bonus. Yeah. So it all came just from this idea of this small little intimate group kind of going down to an old nightclub, and I wanted just always to be part of that. That's absolutely fantastic. And you're going to be performing these songs in, in Western Canada. You're starting a yes. tour. Yes, so we start in Western Canada, yeah. and then we tour all the way till uh, almost uh, November. We're going through Eastern Canada, Ontario. All that stuff. Wow, that is. We, 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 we go as much as we can. Uh, that is so fantastic. Well, playing us out with I Left My Heart in San Francisco, give it up for Matt Dusk. <laughs> the loveliness of Paris seems somehow sadly gay. The glory that was Rome is of another day I've been terribly alone and forgotten in Manhattan I'm going home to my city by the bay 
I left my heart in San Francisco. High on a hill, it calls to me. the stars the morning fog may chill the air I don't care my love waits there in San Francisco Above the blue Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.